these. When I asked you to solve these for your homework, I think I uh, said you could try to justify each step, but if you didn't, it wasn't the end of the world. Um, when we talked on Friday, we talked about how a problem like this has four different ways to solve it. And if you started a different way than I am right now, you still should get the same answer I do. My first step that I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. And I like to, and I'm just going to remind you of some of the stuff that I talked about on Friday. When I have options for solving, I try to get the variable to have a positive coefficient. 5x's minus 3x's was going to leave me with a positive 2x. And the other thing that I want you to be careful of is watching to make sure you don't leave a negative sign behind. From this point, I'm going to add 19 to both sides. And negative 7 plus 19 is going to give me 12. Malik, please stop talking. And I had already made a bunch of statements. Yeah, you're asking me questions that I answered already. Thank you. Negative 7 plus 19 is going to give me 12. And on the right-hand side is 2x. Lena, what's your question? I'm getting there. Oh. The justify each step, yep. So when I divide everything by 2, I'm getting x is equal to 6. I asked you to be sure to solve each one, but now it's the whole justify. And then what justifies each one? When I went from this to this, I used the subtraction property of equality. And when I added 19 to both sides to get to here, I used the addition property of equality. And, well, I'm abbreviating. Yeah. And then when I went from here, I used the division property of equality. So the solving is experiences that you've had before. It's the justifying that's going to be new for you. You forgot one. I did? Yeah. No, not yet. I haven't used the substitution property, but let's use, thanks for the reminder. Substitution looks like this. I go back and I say, what is three times, I actually put six in. So three times six minus seven, that gave me 11 on the left-hand side. That's substitution right there. Five times six minus 19 on the right-hand side gave me 11. I checked my answer using substitution. Cool? Substitution is when we go back and plug it in to see if we were right. And when I did, I got 11 equals 11. So I know that my math was right. Now, in number two, oh, I should have done this on another piece of paper, but that's all right. I'll just switch colors here. I'm going to have to justify my first step as distributive because I'm going to do 20 minus 2, negative 2 times 3x is minus 6x, negative 2 times negative 1 plus 2 equals x minus 6. That's distributive property right there. I'm simplifying by distributing. So from the first line to the second is distributive property. Now before I go on, I'm going to simplify, and you can call this like combine like terms if you want, or you could call it straight up simplify. But I'm going to put together this 20 plus 2 and get 22 minus 6x equals x minus 6. I'm going to say that that is, I'm going to actually ask you guys to use that combine like terms. I added those numbers together. Let's just put it in as combine like terms. Now I'll start my undoing. So distribute, then simplify, then start undoing. What can I do for you? Okay. Pencil to paper. I'm going to add 6x to both sides. That's the addition property of equality. Write down or imagine what it is. Check your idea there. Thank you. Thanks. So right now that is going to leave me with, that's an addition property. And it's going to be, oh boy, I'm going to come over here. 22 equals 7x minus 6. And I can justify that with addition property. Addition property of equality there. My next step is going to be add 6 to both sides. 28 equals 7x. That's my addition property again. Uh oh. And then from here, I'm going to divide both sides by 7. 
x is equal to 4, and that's going to be my division property. And then, like Lena brought up, I'm really glad that you said that, actually. I'm going to go back now and use substitution and put 4 in my calculator wherever I see an x. So 20 minus 2, I'm going to open up parentheses, 3 times 4 minus 1, close that up, I got negative 2. On the right-hand side, 4 minus 6, sure enough, it's negative 2. So every time you get an answer, you can use your calculator to double check. Like I put the answer into the left, got my negative 2. I put my answer into the right, got my negative 2. Replace the x with 4 on both sides. And since they were equal, I know my answer's right. AJ. Well, it wound up I was undoing subtraction, and then I was undoing subtraction again. So there's no, you know, you don't have, I, I, that's funny you asked that because when I did it, I actually thought of that. I'm like, okay, they haven't seen where we just repeated. Whatever operation you're using is the property that you're talking about. Now, I'm going to go on here in number three, and I have distributive on both sides of this. So when I distribute negative five times two y, two u, negative ten u minus fifty. 2u minus 14. Next to that, I need to write down that it's a distributive property. Whatever you have to do to fix yours up and make sure that you're all justified and whatnot, do it. So, distributive property. I don't have any more simplifying to do. I can just start undoing. My best choice for this would be to add 10 u's. I want to get that negative 10 u out of there. I'm going to add 10 u's to both sides. So negative 50 equals 12u minus 14. That was an addition property of equality. I added 10u to both sides. I'm actually going to wind up using addition again because I've got to add 14 to both sides. And now I'm going to come over on this area. I should have used another piece of paper, but that's all right. Good morning, Makisa. Negative 36 equals 12u. And that was also addition property. And then I'm going to finish by dividing by 12 and find out that u is negative 3. And that was division property. Now substitution is going to take me back in here. One second, please. Negative 5 outside, 2 times negative 3 plus 10. When I did the left-hand side, I got negative 20. Now let me go, let me go over to the right-hand side. 2 times the quantity, neg oops, negative 3 minus 7. Yep, negative 20 on the right-hand side. So using substitution at the end helped me to check to see if my final answer here was right.